Mila, you're a lifesaver. Darkspawn almost had you for lunch. Well, let's not hang around for dinner. Come on. Have you found your dad, Mila? No! I'm sure he'll show up soon. I just don't want him to be afraid. We're here. Quick, inside the library. Ugh, more Darkspawn. Cut him down! We can't get stuck out here. Herlock's coming. Let him try. I'm good at killing them. Darkspawn! The Great Lord is high. Tear them from that tower. Kayla! Find somewhere safe to hide! I'll be over here! Try the marshals from the walls. Kill them all! Let's not get ahead of ourselves. If this door doesn't hold, all bets are off. What about the dragon trap? The trap will work. <laughs> Take it from a blacksmith. You set it off and get out of the way. Dad! Mila! I told you not to get lost. Hope she wasn't too much trouble. The right kind of trouble. She saved our butt. Anytime. The real problem is getting that dragon to land. Lucanis, the dagger. I guarantee this will get Gilanane's attention. 
And then? She sends the Archdemon after me. We trap it. Davrin kills it. And Akarnis? You take your shot. Just like that. I'm not going down without a fight. Is this one you can win? I mean to find out. Right. Then let's go. No one's seen the First Warden. We did. Don't think he made it. I see. Well... The others will rally around his sacrifice. Be ready for it. Come on! I know a way to the trap. Everything. Let's just find our way through this mess. There should be a door on the other side. That'll put us near the trap. Let's get rid of this blight then. Once the Archdemon's trapped, a warden has to kill it, right? It's true. That's right. It's complicated. Every warden is prepared for the sacrifice. I'm ready. Davrin. Who knows? Maybe they'll hang my portrait in here someday. It's not over yet. We'll be soon enough. And that's when Lucanus kills Gilane? That's why we came here. But how? She's up there, and she's enormous. One impossible thing at a time. Get out there. Get 
Give Asan a hug for me. Stay your blade, Warden. Sir. <laughs> Let an old man spill the blood today and make amends for his mistakes. No hard feelings. There should be. <laughs> but thanks for lying to a dead man. have a saying. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death, sacrifice. Racing heart, ragged breasts, a waste of useful blood.
studs all day! Evka sent word. Last of the civilians made it to Lavendel. Janos and his people held the line long enough for them to escape Weishaupt. And the Wardens are in Lavendel too. What's left of them, you mean? Over a thousand. That's how many fellow Wardens I had. And now? One god, one archdemon. That's all it took to nearly wipe out our entire order. Those Wardens fulfilled their oaths. They saved lives, heroes, all of them. If not for them, how many civilians would have died? In death, sacrifice. The Warden's oath. Right. But it starts with in-war victory. I don't have much hope for victory here. We killed her Archdemon, though. That's something, isn't it? That's an incredibly rare accomplishment. Yeah. After it turned into a snake monster with too many heads. Are all blighted dragons gonna do that? I don't know how to fight that. Well, at least we've made Gillanane mortal. Mortal or immortal, doesn't matter if we can't get close enough. We had our shot at her, and we missed. Say what you mean, Davrin. I missed. Nobody blames you for that, Lucanus. Yeah? Maybe I do. This crow has a demon inside him, right? Now, that's not... How do we know we can trust him? Maybe the demon pulled his punches. Okay, hold on. Now we're getting... And you, Warden? What about the blight that runs through your veins? The same blight that chokes my city. The same blight that Gillenane commands so effortlessly. Just a moment, please. Enough. We're on the same side here, and for the same reasons. We all saw the terror these gods will bring and chose to stand against it. This team needs to depend on each other. To unite against impossible odds. That's the only hope we've got. We're all in agreement on that point, Rook. But the question remains, how? We barely survived against one of the gods. I nearly got her. Nearly. But spite is a creature of raw emotion. Your turmoil over what befell Treviso feeds him. Both of you vying for control. It's no wonder you missed such a rare opportunity. I think we've all been distracted. I've been preoccupied myself after discovering that hand of glory. And I can't stop worrying about my new magic and what it means. Or oh, what the Venatori are up to in Docktown. Until those problems are resolved, we will not be prepared to face the gods. A moment of inattention, a single lapse, could prove fatal. And the gods will allow no second chances. He's right, Rook. We can't afford to stumble. The gods will jump on that in a heartbeat. We must be ready for them. That said, we need to find them first. Harding, can you send word to Evka, see if she has any rested scouts? Scouts? Why? The Darkspawn that attacked Weishaupt had to come from somewhere. I bet they'll be headed back there. Following them should at least put us on the gods' trail. Got it. As for the rest of- Look, nothing against Emric. He's right about needing focus. But what happened at Weishaupt? That was more than a distraction. So is what happened to Treviso. What the Blight has done to the city, to its people. These are more than distractions, Rook. Either way, we all need to step back, clear our heads. So, how do you think that went? 
Davron was still upset there, at the end. That's his right, after the horrors at Weishaupt. But I hoped I'd gotten through to him. They stopped fighting when you told them to. That's something. Emmerich's right, though. Everyone on this team has some kind of unfinished business hanging over their heads. That's the danger in recruiting competent people. They bring more interesting and complicated problems along with them. So go help, Rook. Support them. Solve those problems. And maybe start with Davrin and Lucanus. With Treviso and Weishaupt. They've got more in common than they did before. And the gods? Well, you've asked the Wardens to track them through the Darkspawn. That'll take time. I should use that time to check in with the team. And then... I should go talk with Solus. Better you than me. He'll want to know all about Gilanane, the Archdemon, and why you only stopped one of them. You know... All this talking wears me out. I'm going to take a nap. See you later, kid. Good luck.
Hi, Brooke. Um, can I ask you a question? Actually, never mind. Don't worry about it. Okay, you're several lines ahead of me here. Let's start with me saying... Hi, Ballara. Right. Okay. It's just... You know... The elf thing? We're fighting our gods. Our gods. It feels a little surreal, and I know surreal. Yeah, it's an adjustment. A whole lot of elven customs are feeling kind of weird right now. I'm worried about our people, or more like how other people see us. Maybe people don't trust us. Maybe they shouldn't. I've had those same feelings. That guilt. But it hasn't been like that for centuries, and it isn't who we are now. That feels too easy. Like we're not taking responsibility. And I don't know, I, I feel guilty. Anytime I think about it, really. So who's that helping? Who's what helping? Feeling guilty. Well, no one, I guess, but... Then what should I do? It'd be easy to pretend that stories about the benevolent elven gods were true, but we know they weren't. So what do we do? To make up for them, I mean. Be honest. About our history, but also about who we are now. We're more than our ancient past. Is it that easy, though? Just being honest? Honesty's hard work, but it's the right kind of work. It's important work. Right. I get it. It's hard. All of it's hard. But I feel better. A little bit, anyways. Thanks for talking to me and listening to me. Hey, anytime. It's what I'm here for. Right. It's a good thing to be here for. See you later, Rook. Lacanis? Are you in here brooding? I'm fine. That's not a no. I had her. She should have never gotten away from me. This was our contract, Rook. I don't fail my contracts. Just think how much more satisfying it'll be when you do take her down. We cannot count on a second shot. I thought I still had this. Even with Treviso suffering, I thought I could still focus on what mattered. I need to work. Gelanane was a giant face in the clouds, Lucanis. I asked you to stab a cloud. And I missed the damn cloud. My point is, that was impossible and you still almost did it. That's not small. <sighs> I was distracted. That cannot happen again. I need to get my head on straight. Whatever you need to do. Have you been to talk to the others? Davrin, especially. I think everyone might have things to deal with now. It's been too long since I checked in with Viago. I should find out if things in Treviso are stable. If I need to return there, I'll let you know. I won't miss another chance to make things right. Davrin? Davrin, about Weishaupt. Davrin? I'm so sorry. Yeah. I can't believe Weishaupt is gone. 
It's always been there, protecting the world. Wasn't supposed to be like this. That's Renald. Malmond. Anya. We used to argue. Who would be the one to take an archdemon down? Who would die so that others could live? Not sure any of us believed it had actually happened. When the moment came, you did the Wardens proud. Did I? Because I'm still here. They're not. There's no getting them back. But at least they died heroes. And I should have joined them. A Grey Warden kills an Archdemon, they're supposed to die. Who knows what happened? Maybe the gods change things and the old rules don't apply. Why is being alive a problem? Because I didn't expect to be here. Grey Wardens have an expiration. It pushed me. There's more fight to go. And if we manage to pull that off? You'll do what you do best. Hunt monsters. Plenty of people can do that. I'm talking purpose. I feel like a blade sharpened all these years to confront the worst darkness in the world. And my blade struck true at Weishaupt. What now? Well, you'll raise a song to create a world where the light outshines the darkness. Yeah? Well, let me tell you. That... will require a lot more ginger wart truffles. <laughs> huh. Hey, there are worse jobs than being a professional truffle hunter. Don't start. He seems to like the idea. Guess we're stuck with each other, boy. No getting rid of me now. Someday I might actually know what that means. While you sort that out, maybe you and Lacanis can try to bury the hatchet. Yeah. He had a rough time of it, too. I know. That was an incredible shot he took at Gillanine. Then tell him that. Because fighting each other won't help us defeat the gods. But we've got help. The Wardens, Shadow Dragons, Crows, Veil Jumpers. We're all in this together. We are. But they've all got their own problems. If we want their help, we have to help them first. Is that a plan I hear forming? I think it could be. Thanks, Davrin. Nev, that coffee in the kitchen. You made it? Keen eye. Did you boil it? If so, why? I'm not picky. I got a cup and it does the job. That's all I ask. I don't know where to go with this. Maybe that's how it's done in Minrathus. Oh no. Give Lucanus credit. It's terrible. You need a stronger word for terrible. So what's the coffee for? I've been looking into the threads. That mean Rathus Crime Syndicate? Yeah. Smuggling, extortion, protection rackets. The threads have fingers in the lot. They stay out of slavery, and they're decent about the rest, but something stirred them up. They've increased activity, changed their patterns. Doc Town's in chaos. Remember Elec, the thread selling charms? He wants to talk, and he doesn't reach out for nothing. Mysterious. Let's do it. Mysterious can go a lot of ways. And we won't know till we get there. Don't say I didn't warn you. If you need more coffee, I'll make it. Well now, is that sweet or trying to save me from myself? Let's call it both.
Any luck tracking down your mystery friend? The Shaper it didn't like me asking about Shaper Valta. Or harassing people with talk of dwarven magic. Damn. That's a disappointment. Well, I'm not gonna find my answers in Orzammar. My contacts had no idea what I was talking about. So, what now? I was thinking. The voice said, look to those closest to the stone. What if she never meant Orzammar? Huh? There is another great taig, the original capital of the dwarves, Cal Chirac. It was lost during the first blight, and its people survived in isolation for hundreds of years. They re-emerged, oh, some 20 years ago? And you think they're closer to the stone? Orzammar can't help. What have I got to lose? Are you sure Orzammar isn't hiding something? Pressing them for information would be tricky. I could anger someone important. If Cal Chirac doesn't turn out, I can go back to poking at Orzammar. But not before then. I'm curious about Cal Chirac's isolation. The dwarves took heavy losses during the first blight. To stop the Darkspawn from overrunning them, they closed off passages in the deep roads. Those that could retreated to Orzammar. Cal Chirac was lost. They abandoned the city and its people, sealed them away with the Darkspawn. There must have been another way. What they did was monstrous. Can you imagine being trapped, knowing death was coming? But they didn't die. The rumors. That the dwarves of Cal Chirac had to change to survive? No one's really sure what that means exactly. When we find them, you can ask. How do we get in touch with these Cal Chirac dwarves? Already working on it. You don't spend ten years in the Inquisition without making contacts. I should have a meeting set up by the time we're ready to leave. Hey, am I interrupting? Done in a sec. Morning ritual. The Darsam. And those are the ropes people who follow the Kuhn wear. We bind ourselves to remember who we are. Tie down the stuff that's too dangerous to leave loose. My mother made me do it every morning before breakfast. I had big fingers. Used to take me forever. Avatash. Shoka Toebra. Only a beast is confounded by knots. A girl masters herself and the Darsa. You do a pretty good impression of your mother. What? I don't sound anything like my mother. Okay. Rook, Tosh, glad I caught you both. The Grey Wardens found a cave that one of the Blighted Dragons uses as its lair. Where? In the Hosberg wetlands. There's no sign of the dragon itself, though. I should check it out. We need to know how different the Blighted Dragons really are. They might turn into something like Gillanane's Archdemon did. If there's a clue, I have to be ready. Thank you. 
fall of Weishaupt reverberated across the Fade, as did the fall of an Archdemon. But unless I am mistaken, both Elganan and Gilanane yet stand. We took down Gilanane's Archdemon, but we weren't able to kill her. And how are you doing? Right now, I'm more concerned with how the team is doing. I expect their morale is shaken after what happened. They have what it takes to stop the gods. I just need to get them to believe it. Indeed. They must know beyond any doubt that you believe in them. You cannot stand against Elganan and Gilanane with logic. Those motivated by greed or self-interest will change alliances. But those who serve you with passion and loyalty will follow wherever you lead. Even to their deaths, if necessary. I knew I might have to make a call like that when Varric put me in charge. A good leader never makes such a decision lightly. But when the time comes, it is better to be prepared. And perhaps it will not come to that. The stronger your team, the more chances you will have to avoid such a decision. I'll keep that in mind. Do you have any suggestions on our next move against the gods? If you oppose Elganan and Gilanane's minions, you will get your opportunity. You think one of the Antar or Venatori commanders will help us find the gods? Possibly. But more importantly, you will aggravate them. You rendered Gilanane mortal at Weishaupt. It is an embarrassment. An insult. Neither she nor Elganan can ignore. If you continue to disrupt their plans, you will not need to track them down. They will come to you. And then we get some payback for Weishaupt. As long as you are ready when the opportunity comes. One final warning. You have survived a confrontation with Gilanane which few still live to claim, but her power pales in comparison to Elganan's. If he takes the field himself, remember, in a fight such as ours, escaping to fight another day is a victory. Oh, Rook. Sorry, I mean, hello. Everything okay? I don't know. I don't think so. Yanarl is missing, and others, Strife, I mean, Strife told me. What kind of missing? They went back to where I met you, where we found the archive. You know, just in case. It's been a week. No one's heard from them. And it's my fault. It's not your fault, Bellara. Please, I need to blame someone, even if it's me. 
Doesn't make sense to me, but go for it. Right. Thank you. Let's start looking where we met earlier, where the Veil Jumpers would have gone in. Might be another anomaly or more demons. Well, let's just be ready. Ready for what? For anything. <laughs>